What's going on guys? Welcome back to the next episode of The Broke Beauties. We finished off Division 9 last episode and we got Hut Rewards or Hut Rivals packs ready to go and trying to improve the team. But for now, we're going to show you guys what we're looking at. Because really anything can improve the team. Even if we just get snuffed with like a McDavid pickup, that's going to go on the team. Even if we get snuffed with a Brent Burns, that's going to go on the team. Because I mean, our players right now, we're still rocking. Base is Darren Chara and base Jonathan Taves back on line four center. All right, um, so unopened packs, what do we have right now? now. Stanley Cup collectibles. All right. We've got an icon collectible for completing all the weekly ones. Division 9 title reward pack. We can also rip that one. All right. So we're going to claim these rewards from Hut Rivals, which is going to be huge for us. And we get two NHL player packs and two jumbo premium packs. That's going to be monstrous right here. So we're going to claim option two is our reward. We're going to just cross our fingers and hope for some decent luck right now because the boys, they're, they, they're going to need it. So we're going into our packs and we are going to first start off with the Division 9 title reward pack. There's gonna be absolutely nothing in here. We're gonna tell you that. We're gonna just lower our expectations. So if we get anything, it's gonna be decent. 69, nice. Jumbo premium pack. Let's see, which one should we open first? 10 items, all gold NHL players with 480 overalls or 20 items with four gold players. These ones suck clearly more than the others. So we're just gonna go with this one. Spam the stammers, boys. Here we go with the first pack. Do we skip the animation? No, it's not often we get packs on the Broke Beauties, so we're gonna just re just relish this feeling of opening packs on this account. The Kelowna Rockets, a red jersey. That is a sick jersey. But I mean, these 74 cards, you know, all these guys, all these like gold cards, they can go to rerolls and everything. Since they're all untradeable, we're not gonna feel bad about doing that either. Kevin Fiala in a pack. Here we go, Phoenix Copley. I'm seeing only like crap, 750 coins, probably the best card that we've gotten so far out of this pack. It's the only thing that's going to help us because everything so far is going into a reroll. 78 Valtteri Philippa, 79 Jimmy Howard. Yikes, dude. We didn't get a single, like, rare card. I guess maybe this... I don't think the Kevin Fiala count as a rare card. That sucks, guys. That sucks. We're going to rip into the second Jumbo Premium Pack. Other than that, 7,300 coins. Start banging those suggestions in the chat. Jonathan Bernier. We got Jimmy Howard, Jonathan Bernier. So that means we're going to get, what, Sid Abel in the pack? We're hitting all the Detroit players. Where's my Sid Abel? Where's my Gordie Howe? Show me in one of these packs. Jordan Bennington's the first player that we're gonna get. That's a rare card. That's not what I wanna see at all, but hopefully those other packs, the premium player packs, that is where we're gonna finally hit something big. But come on. Now I don't need more contracts, bud. I just need the good players. And I do not feel like it's gonna come from these packs because so far they have been awful. Holy crap, boys. All right, these are the two that we're looking for. Maybe we'll do something with this icon collectible later. I'm just not sure what we need to do. NHL players pack. Here we go. 10 items, all gold NHL, 480 overalls. Let's go, boys. Tons of great cards are 99 line A is out right now. Martin Hansel, dude, his 91 card or his 90 card might be the coolest card I've ever seen in the hut. So, I mean, hopefully, hopefully, maybe we'll like pull one of those one day or something. But let's go. Alex Gilchenyuk's the first one that we were guaranteed. Come on. Where are the others? Here we go. Carey Price. We already got like the best goalie in the game though in Andre Vasilevsky. So I mean, we'll just throw him in a reroll, I guess. That's for all the Habs fans in the chat. <laughs> all right, let's go. Ryan Suter. We just played against a Beast 91 in the puck drop. And the last one is Ryan Ellis, dude. All right, so I mean, interesting polls, but I mean, I don't know if we're gonna be able to put anybody, anybody on the team right there. That's unfortunate. Skip the next animation. All right, let's do it. The last pack, skip the animations because the first three packs never worked and we're gonna listen to the chat. Here we go, skipping the animation. It's not skipping, there it is. All right, I'm seeing nothing right now. I'm seeing a Radulov, Sean Monahan, David Perron, and the last card at the end is gonna be Sebastian Ajo. That is unfortunate for us boys because I mean, probably not gonna be able to use any of those guys. Sebastian Ajo, I mean, I feel like our guys on the left wing, they're stacked. So, I mean, that's just unlucky. Those are your rival rewards, but I mean, we got a ton of players for rerolls now. So, I mean, maybe we can get lucky with that. Maybe the reroll game is about to be strong. We come back here to the sets and try our luck here because you never know what's going to happen. But it's time for rerolls. All right, we got some, uh, we got some rerolls to do first. We're going to open up the crappy one first, then the decent one. Man, it's not, it's not normal that we get rerolls too. Tyler Bertuzzi, and then we're going to get Seth Griffin. We also got to see who we want to replace after this. Premium two gold player pack. Give us somebody good. I want a good reroll. Let's see somebody nice. Hampus Lindholm. Yikes, dude. Curtis McElhaney. That kind of sucks. 
All right, but we got 7,300 coins. We're gonna start looking for like, maybe like an 84 overall, like primetime card or something. This is the team that we got. Out of everybody here, guys, who do you think we need to replace? Honestly, forwards, if we could get maybe like a, a different center, aside from Jonathan Taves, I mean, maybe do that. But on defense, I mean, we're looking pretty decent back here. Maybe it's time to get rid of uh, Zidane O'Chara. We're just also gonna start setting this thing by uh, overall rating, like 84. Let our buy now a little bit lower. Like 7,300 or so. All right, like these are some of the players that we're just going to be looking at. Uh, we do definitely don't need a goalie. You know, I do think we need to upgrade a defensive player. And I think it needs to be a left-handed D-man. So hopefully this cuts it down. 129 items. That is a major cut down. Ralph's Fry Fry Frybergs. Too bad he's 5'11 because that card was starting to really excite me. We got Michael Morvik, 6'4". Oh my goodness, dudes. Michael Morvik, that's a crazy looking card. Dude, potentially, that's a fun card, holy crap. Joel Ganazzi, let's check out this guy, he's like 6'1". So I mean, I'm hearing 6'3 is the height that you wanna stay above Sebastian Eriksson. That's the dude we just pulled, right? That's the guy we pulled back on the puck drop. Yeah, he's 5'11", we're not gonna use him at all. Henrik Tomarin, 75 overall, 6'1". The guys are fast back here. I honestly, I'm just gonna flip through a couple more pages. Go back. Peter Senkern Crick, six foot, nah. Think so, let's check out this Brad Hunt real quick though. 5'9", oh my gosh, dude, the guy's tiny. The guy's so tiny. Oleg Sosanov, dude, this guy is an absolute unit. He plays for Tampa, or he's on Tampa's like, guys, he's 6'8", dude. He's the next Chara. <laughs> He's freaking huge. He is massive. I saw him in Tampa's uh, freaking training camps. The guy's huge. His, his hands. Look at his hands, though. This is completely true. 72. He... <laughs> the highlights from him were the goofiest thing I've ever seen. I mean, we can try him, but just, I feel like that's a super fun card to have, and that'd just be... That's complete broke beauties in style. Everyone's saying just get him. I mean, I'll, I'll get him. I don't give a crap. I mean, Tampa's prospect. Yeah, he's the only one up there. And for 3,000 coins, holy crap, dudes. He's so freaking big and goofy. So I'm just, I'm, I, that excites me that you guys wanted me to pick him up so much. That's that's hilarious. All right, but let's check it out, though. I mean, this other guy, Michael Morvik, it was this guy. And I think we can actually pick him up, too. I really don't know if I want to replace anybody else, though, on lefty. I just got to check out the team real quick and just see if we need anybody else on defense. I mean, what we could do, we could play a game and then replace somebody else. I mean, we're good over here. I mean, we got Philip Broberg. We got Marcus Niemelein. These guys are sick. All right, but Zidane Chara, Big Z. I mean, he's going to be leaving the team here. I don't know if we're ever going to see him again. We're probably going to see him with the Chara Bomb. You know, like how much we love him, how much we love the Chara Bomb. I forgot to check this guy's acceleration. I bet you it's like 14. 90, not the worst, not the best endurance, but I mean, 91 checking, 87 defense. Dude, I'm, he's, he's like Char's replacement. I don't even care. Big Z, I think 6'9 or so. Yeah, he's 6'9, 250. And this new guy that we just put out there, Oleg Sosanov, is 6'8, 236. So he's not quite, you know, that person. All right, he has X energy, so he's even faster. I mean, is it activated? It is fa activated. Gosh, this is going to be nasty. Let's just save the changes and hop into this first game. That's, that's such a fun card to have. I'm so excited for that. Which Char's hands? I don't know, like six, maybe? Not the best. All right, but here we go. We're gonna hop into our first game of Division Eight. The boys are 9-0-0. We haven't come across anybody yet who's like taking us, have we gone to overtime? I don't think so. But I mean, look at the new addition to the team back here on defense. It's the brand new Zidane Char, Oleg Sosanov. The guy is 6'8", 236. I mean, he's huge. The, the guy's huge. 91 check and 87 defense. I'm extremely excited for this card. And we're taking him straight into the game, boys. Here we go. Got Dylan Strom starting center. Let's go, bud. Look at this guy. Like, oh my gosh. What a tryhard. Are you seeing this guy? He's having a seizure out on the ice. He's like doing the whole flippy freaking, like where he pushes the puck out in front of him to go faster. The only times I've ever seen that was in, uh, was in the freaking like World Gaming Championships and then playing against Seth here. The only times I've seen stuff like that, which is just the stupidest thing ever. We're going up against a tryhard for sure. Oh my gosh, and we're sniping on the outside. <laughs> Holy crap, dude. There we go. First goal, that's that's gonna be it for us here. The guy is going out there with the complete jitterbug, but Harry Person, Marcus Niemelein, 
Tarot Gent, we got this, dude. Dude, between the legs passes, like, what is this guy doing out here? But it's cool, because we got base Vasilevsky in here. Come on, in front. Stay or be there for it. Do not let him get behind us. Oh my gosh, dude. What a complete animal out here. What is he doing? Division 8? <laughs> oh my gosh, dude. What is this guy doing? Like, this is skill that I've never seen before. Like, all the crazy crap he's trying to pull is exactly what happens in, like, the top 100 of whatever freaking... Like, they, they do, like, up at the leaderboards, up at the way up at the top. Come on, Sosanov. Oleg Sosanov out there. Look at the, the beauty. He's a beauty out there. Should we let him fly? I don't know if we want to let him fly. Look at him. He's huge. He's huge. Oleg Sosanov. Can he dangle? I mean, he kind of could. In front. Dude, no, he should have passed right to Larkin. He was waiting for it. Oh, come on. Tank it in there, Larkin. Come on, guys. Let's go, person. Snipe it. Dude, he's behind him. What are like what are my guys trying to accomplish being behind Lundquist like that? Oh, no way. Souls enough. What are we doing, bud? What are we doing? I want to see if there's somebody just like trying to run into him. All right, end of the first period. End of the first period, we got the advantage. Our first shot on net was actually the one that's made the difference right now. So, I mean, the game is up right now. We're going to look real quick at the stats. Four to five of your shots, time attack, very, very similar. Like this guy, I can tell you probably across any game I've played, probably has the most skills out of anybody. But I don't know if he's trying to be too fancy right now or if his team is just awful. I mean, I don't know. Nima line and bangers! Oh my gosh, dude, the point shots are off the chain. The broke beauties and Nima line is just banging one in from the top of the circle. And that's gonna be a big goal for him right there. Marcus Nima line from Harry Person. Let's go, boys. We're up two to nothing against. Very surprising of the outcome right now. But I mean, if we play smart, I mean, I don't know. Nice poke, dude. Nice poke. Let's go, McKinnon. Get up there. Dude, like, we got this guy. Like, no, I, right, I don't want to say it. Oh my gosh, right as I said something like cocky to get a, like a good scoring opportunity on that. Stand by, let's go, dude. Oh, Russ off the outside of Lundquist's pad. Gosh, I'm sorry being so quiet this game. I'm just like it's trying to focus up so hard. Oh, that was almost bad. I He was staying up at the point. He knew that's where I was going. Nice. Oh, McKinnon with the steal. Come on, he's going to trip us. We're going up on the power play. Here we go, dudes. Rip from the point. All right. One minute, 23 seconds left to go. Here we go, boys. Let's go, Gench. Oh, tie it in there. No, dude. Juicy rebounds. Come on. The juiciest of rebounds was right there. We are so close to scoring. And we're still in the power play for 13 more seconds. McKinnon's battling out in the corner. I almost tripped him right there. That would have been an awful end of the period. Big checks. All right, end of the second period and we have advanced our goal to 2-0. And we got the support of the chat right now. Buzzing, absolutely buzzing. Nine to seven total shots right now. The guy's time on attack is very similar to us. Great opponent right now, probably the best opponent we've played and we just gotta take this one slow. A win is a win right now. Division eight, I never knew had people of this skill caliber, but I mean, hey, we're not gonna take them lightly. We're gonna win this one. Big check, big step up, Harry Person, let's go, boy. We're putting him in a pot pickle. Here we go, dripping short side. I tried, I tried, guys, I tried. 
No, person, where are you going, dude? I he, he pushed the puck so far in front of him that he completely lost control of it. Nima Line in the snipe show. Get back, dude. Get back, Nathan. All right, whatever. Gotta get a switch on it. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. One more. No, dude, Nima Line was right there to bang a home. He almost had that one. Come on, guys. 15 minutes left. We're going to bring this one home. He's figure skating. You're playing hockey. Yeah, I know, but like, they're decent at, though. If he had a fast team, oh my gosh, we'd be losing a million to nothing. Hands down. Sir Vank is keeping it in the zone. I mean, it's not easy to play the kind of hockey he's playing. And with a good team, we'd probably be toast for sure. Oh my goodness. He didn't even shoot that. Didn't even shoot that puck. It just bounced off of his player. And Philip Cheadle, 78 overall, is going to put that one in. Look at this. He goes for the bounce. He didn't even shoot the puck. It's just right there. Got to keep scoring goals. Get opportunities here, and it doesn't matter. Oh, that was a nice that was a nice angle, though. There it is. Yes, dude. I bet he's killing himself right. They're calling no goal on that. Oh, my gosh, dude. For what? What are they calling? Oh, my. Like, why was Giroux... Just doing that? Are you kidding me? No freaking way that they're calling that back. Oh my goodness, guys. That is complete bull. I gotta like kick you off the team or something for that. Oh my gosh, and Drew just missed an open net. Oh, he, this is the last game on the last day on the team. Oh my goodness, guys. Come on, would you just get in there, puck? No, he gets bumped at the last second. Come on, be back. Be, be, be good, Bethlehem. Nice steal, dude. Are you kidding me? That was huge. That was a huge play. So it's off. Let's go. Bang it home. Did you see the speed of that shot? Good Lord. You need a permit for that thing. Go, Matthews, again. Again, bud. Over the net. No way. No way. Too fancy with his players. I bet mean, he's like turning the puck over a ton just because his players aren't good enough to deep. All right, shots right now, 14 to 11. Like, jeez, jeez, guys. <laughs> here we go, Dylan Larkin. This is a big win for you right here. We're going with a circle up. Nope, lost it. Adam Fox, long shot. Didn't want to throw that one out there. The push, hit him with the push. Let's see if he's learned. All game, he did learn. He, he did the complete opposite of what he's been doing all game. Come on. Dude, just like, stay at the point. Like, I'm fine with that. Oh, he lost it. He lost it. Don't go, Larkin. Go, buddy. Gents, dart out there. No way, dude. He's going to save that. Come on, guys. Big bodies. There we go, person. Let's go. Dude, no way did we just win that game. <laughs> There's no way we won that game. That is insane. Like, clearly probably the best person we played so far. I mean, it's crazy. What's up, Night Killer? GG's, dude, that was, he was good. Like, once again, haven't played a bad person since we started out in D10, late in the year. Man, Andre Vasilevsky with big saves. That was me? No, was it really? Was it really, Seth? No, was it? Was it? Because I was about to say, the only people I've seen do that. No way! Did you stream snipe us? I was wondering why you just like completely went silent. I want to see a picture. Let's see a picture of that and post it to the Discord just to prove it. It was so funny because I'm sitting here being, you know, the only person who does that thing where they like flick, their, flick the puck forward and chase after it. I was like, I've seen Seth do it and I just watched people do that in GWC. And Seth's in here chat saying that was him. Yo, send me, send me a message saying it's, yo, it's Seth. All right, well still... That's that's the win for us. I wonder if he was like listening to us because he knew what face off to do at the end there because we're like, oh, it's automatic. We're always going to get the push with this guy and then he knows what to do at the end. That's hilarious. End of your game stats, 15 to 12, 934, 721. Sent it in Discord. Did he really? This out. <laughs> 
Playing us in hut right now. Getting the L. Getting the L against the Broke Beauties. But then again, like if you look at his team, I mean, that's hilarious. That is so funny. Nathan wants to say hello in chat. So guys, come join us. Come join us on sh uh, in Discord. We have a good time. But oh man, guys. Dude, that's hilarious. That's the base Rangers team. I was about to say, I was like, if this guy had like a better team, we feel like we'd be over. Base everything. Capo Caco. It's got the Mark Stahl. Greg McKaig. Jesper Fast. Everybody, there's like no... Okay, I guess this... Hey, that's not a base card, right, team? Your heart was racing. That's hilarious, dude. Trying to give us our first L on stream, but it wasn't gonna happen, dude. We were ticked off when we scored our first goal. <laughs> the first shot went in. You're like, no way, dude. Oh, that's hilarious. But guys, that is where this episode is going to end. We got stream sniped by our uh, friendly hut helper, and we managed to come out on top. That's, that's hilarious. But guys, if you want to try and stream snipe us, come join us live on Twitch so you know when to click accept and look for a game when we're like down on the lower divisions. But that is where this one is going to end. Once again, smash the like. Let's try and hit 125 likes on this video. I know you can do it. If you've never liked a video in your life, make this the one that you like. Still undefeated on this on this series right now. So, I mean, we're going to keep that train rolling. But guys, I hope you have a great rest of your day. This is Pac Daddy. I'm out. Yeah, yeah.